reporting a local program to help homeless people is now expanding. KOAT Action 7 News anchor Angela Brower is live in downtown Albuquerque to explain. Good morning, Angela. Hi, Marissa and Todd. Yeah, those statistics across America, homelessness here in the United States, absolutely skyrocketing. We're talking more than 800,000 people on our streets on any given night. About 1,700 of those people right here in Albuquerque, especially downtown. That's why now there is such a focus on how to help. It starts with finding them a place to stay. It is a significant problem. In a lot of cities, even organizations, individuals have to be mentally stable or sober to qualify for shelter. Heading home, though, the city's relatively new program does something a bit different. They house the people first, then find them help, whether it's medical assistance, even job training. Help get kids into school to their doctor's appointments, um, sometimes help them go get groceries. So far, the program has helped more than. 300 homeless people. They say cutting costs to the community, in the jail, and in the hospitals. It's 31.6% uh, less expensive to house somebody than to just leave them in the street. This model of doing things has been so successful, we're told other cities are now coming here to see how they can implement something similar. In cities like Anaheim, California, And not only is the Heading Home program expanding nationally, now our local group is looking to grow a little bit too. They're looking at ways on how to help more veterans and also how to keep more homeless families together. Reporting live in downtown this morning, I'm Angela Brower, KOAT, Action 7 News. All right, thank you very much, Angela. A big part of Heading Home success has been because of volunteers. If you are interested in getting involved or donating to the cause, we have a link on how to do that on KOAT.com.